Hi and welcome to today's video. This is my quite late update for Colour Pan. So this is my March update. This project pan was started by Misty and it is essentially a project pan for anything from Colourpop um, or their associated brands. So I've put a few of my Colourpop items in. I haven't an enormous Colourpop collection but I've quite a few things so it's good to use this to use a few things up and rotate through some things like my Colourpop eyeshadow palettes which there wouldn't be a hope of me using them up um, just over the course of this project. So I have a few updates obviously I've had more than a month since the last update I was away last week and I think I went away on update day so I and then I was on night shift so I didn't get around to filming this update until today but on the plus side I brought a few of these products with me so I upped uh, my usage on some of them uh, while I was away so that's good now hopefully it won't hurt me next month presumably it will but we'll see how it goes so the first item I have to update on is my 4-3 Beauty Lightweight Moisturiser. So, lightweight hydrator, whatever it's called. So, you can see it's maybe half gone now. And I've used a, an amount in the last month. I just don't love this. It's fine, but I really don't love it. So, you know, if this isn't near me, wherever I happen to be when I want to put on some moisturiser, and there's kind of any of my other moisturizers near me, I'm I'm going for the other one. So it was great to take this away with me. I used up a bit there. One thing I will say I do love is the bottle. Um, the pump pumps out quite a small amount, which is good because then you can, you know, you can just do two pumps if you want, which is what I have been doing. I've been putting two pumps on my face, a pump on my neck. I've been putting it on my arms. <laughs> to try and get this much usage which isn't even that much I just don't love it it's fine and certainly in the morning um it's handy like if I have a shower in the morning right after I shower to put this on and then by the time I'm ready to put sunblock on and then put makeup on later if I want to it's I've definitely sunk in because it really is very very lightweight so I just don't love it because I don't feel like it's doing a huge amount and even though I've oily skin I kind of want to feel like there's a purpose to putting on moisturiser. Um, I do want a lightweight moisturiser. I have kind of preferred it using two pumps than I was previously only putting one pump on my face. So getting through it and it's definitely more of a daytime uh, moisturiser for me than a nighttime. You'd want to have like exceptionally oily skin for that to be like feel very moisturising for nighttime. So that is my use on that. I did use it today. Actually, I hate my hair. I My makeup's meh. Um, I, had a, I went and had a massage because my back really hurt and work the other day, just now, and then I used the pool um, there, like the, you can for free if you are using the spa. And I did have conditioner with me, but forgot to use it for some reason in the shower, which is very unlike me but I just think I wasn't where I'm used to etc I forgot to use the conditioner anyway so I hate my hair so much and it was very strange and maybe this exact situation has happened like maybe one other time but other than that I really think the last time I didn't use conditioner when I washed my hair I was a child so not thrilled about it uh, so then when I got home I did like a spray heat protectant thing that's like a leave-in conditioner and dried my hair I had dried my hair a bit up after the pool and then dried it kind of the rest of the way here so I just don't love it I also didn't bring the eyeshadow palette with me that I wanted to wear today so I just put blush in my crease um at the after the pool so then when I got home I actually put the eyeshadow palette on which I'll talk about in a minute so I don't love this look, but it is what it is. I did enjoy the massage. It was good. It's not going to be a regular thing I do because I can't afford it, but, um, and the place is near my house. So that was cool. And even just to use their pool and stuff was cool. But anyway, hating my hair. Uh, life is topsy-turvy. 
But I was very glad I brought this and I like because I had been in the pool and stuff I you know I used it on my arms and my chest and everything as well as my face so used up a bit there. The so I was thinking like last month I said maybe two months on this I think it might be longer but at the same time if I if I continue using it on more parts of my body than just my face then it could go fast we'll see we shall see. Next up is the Colourpop, sorry everything is Colourpop, um, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturiser and this is the Mini. So as you can see we've got some serious windowing and it's like all the, I can see all the way through, uh, you won't be able to. I would estimate there's like one use left in this. So the best thing that happened to this is I got Covid. So on the few days, like I think I filmed a video or two during that time, that I wanted to bother putting on makeup. I obviously didn't have it on for long and um, so this was handy. I have very oily skin and um, they've now you don't have to wear masks all the time in Ireland anymore but people on my team and work are still wearing masks so I am you know some of the time wearing masks some of the time not as much as I had to wear a mask before so I this didn't suit mask wearing oily skin me very much. Um, it's all right. I can see why people like it and for very light coverage and to, you know, personally, the, the fun parts of makeup for me are eyeshadow, blush and lipstick. I think that's the fun parts of makeup for most people. And I don't want to do those things and not have any base product on. So basically just to kind of balance out my face while I'm doing the fun parts uh, this works fine but for kind of all day wear or you know good coverage of issues not amazing. One use left in it I'll use it and I'm very happy I got to try it out as a sample and it's a decent sample size I didn't think I'd get I don't know exactly how many uses I got out of it but a decent amount. So the next update is eyeshadow. Yeah, so I put the Wild Nothing palette in last time and I have used this 10 times. The only thing I will say about it is Spirited and is Sultan as well. I think are, what are they called? Super Shock formula. And I feel that they are aging. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful they're still totally usable but I used spirited the other day and got like a lot of glitter fallout all over my cheeks which was a bit frustrating so that's kind of annoying possibly I, I really love this palette though Um, thankfully because the pans are magnetic I could if the, like if the fallout got bad in the actual palette I could remove those pans easily and I could swap in pans from other palettes that I love. So like I have the Bare Necessities palette, so they're definitely light shimmers that would, you know, fill the gap that would be left if I removed those two shades in this one. Though at the same time you have this um, coastline, which uh, kind of fills that gap as well. So I'd say I used seashells maybe three times and it's just such a fun shade. Um, green isn't my go-to remotely, but if I'm going to wear green, it's going to be this beautiful, like, um, kind of baby green kind of uh, situation. So I really love this palette, and obviously it's so beautiful. Three of my uses with this were while I was away, so it was handy to have a weekend away. So I've used it 10 times, that was my goal. So I'm going to roll in a new color, color pop eyeshadow palette. I had originally thought I would do 10 uses on everything, but I've realized I have other goals where, I, in other projects where I want to hit pan on things and I have other, I, I, I want to rotate through as much of my eyeshadow palette collection as possible. Um, because I really I really do love a lot of my palettes so I want to be using them so I've decided to set a lower use goal this time and this time I'm going for the blush crush palette it is what I am wearing today so I knew I wanted to wear this today 
but I had the Wild Nothing palette with me because it was in my makeup bag, my makeup bag there, and um, that I brought with me uh, to put on after the pool. So I just put blush in my crease, and then when I got home, I finished it with this. And I, yeah, so I'm going to set a usage goal of five uses with this palette. I'm not doing these no pan left behind where I would have to use every shade primarily because, you know, shades like this, I just, I, I have very pale skin and I'm, I, I'm not into super dramatic makeup and like this one in particular, it's full of glitter. So that's just going to, be a fallout situation and I don't want to bother with that. I think Bare Necessities is a black in it. I'm not going to use that. Um, but I kind of have been and with Wild Nothing I did try and think of using all the shimmers and for me I love shimmers so whichever shimmer is taking up the majority of my lid that's kind of the main part of the look even though I've hooded eyes you can't see my lid that well and glasses <laughs> you really can't see my lids that well but um for me that's kind of the main differentiation between different looks so uh this has three shimmers and today I used enamored though I have topped it with something else and pop a bottle because that's on the inner corner and then there's also blossom up i think blossom up is gorgeous so i forgot i had the shades from wild nothing still there so you can see there and like between enamored and blossom up there's quite a difference in terms of how very pink this is and this is a bit more peachy so i think that's that's nice in a nine pound palette to have that variation so looking forward to using this Four more times because I have in fact already used it today. So you may not be able to tell because of the glasses but I am actually wearing something else over this palette today which is the Jelly Much Shadow in She Grown. Let me see. Ah, which is the pink one. I can't get the lid off. <laughs> so these are very dried out but I heard you can just add water and that's what I have done. Uh, I didn't do it today, I just kind of mushed it up a bit, but I used it at the weekend. Um, so that um, I'm now up to three total uses with this, which is not great, but only two more to go. Um, and adding the water definitely helped to make it more usable. Um, I'm still only on one use and a big bit of it just fell out in Saguro. Is that how you say that? Um, but it's very pretty. I think obviously this is a lovely gold um, and it has a bit of dimension and kind of a pinkiness to it but I think because she grown is kind of a bit more of an interesting colour it, it just wouldn't occur to me to look for this as a topper there's a gold in so many palettes. I actually really, that's, I know lots of people want a black in every palette. I don't. So blacks in palettes somewhat frustrate me because they're totally useless to me. Um, but a gold in so many palettes really is useless to me because there's just so many of them. I'm very sorry for the background noise. I think my that's my neighbours who are building a shed. Um, and it's unfortunate because the like professional builders who are doing work in my housing estate stopped a few hours ago because it's a Friday afternoon. Um, so those are all my items I have in this. So I have five in total. The moisturiser, I think it, it won't be finished by next month. This will definitely be finished by next month. The um, Wild well, Nothing palette, I've reach my goal so it's being replaced with this I wouldn't say I'll hit that the five uses in one month particularly considering I have less than a month now until the next update um, and I wouldn't say I'll hit these either though it's not impossible with she grown considering I've only two uses left on it so I I'll see how I feel about that it kind of depends what kind of looks I'm going for though I am enjoying it over um with the blush crush palette today 
So we will see how that goes. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, if you aren't following this project in general, go check out Misty's video. I will link her March update down below and uh, check out the hashtag on Instagram and here on YouTube and check out what other people are doing. Some other people are like rotating through way, way, way more palettes than me or they're you know, aiming to hit higher usage goals or even hit pan on um, things. So very impressive. And uh, you can check out all the different kind of panning uh, tactics that different people have. One of mine is to have small products. <laughs> I have a lot of samples actually, because if something comes in a mini, I want it. A, they're adorable. And B, they're cheaper and see well they're not often cheaper per uh, like weight or whatever but it's cheaper than buying a big one and see it's just so much less wasteful if you get to find out if you love something or not before you buy a full size i'm not saying i would have been disappointed if i bought a full size of this but like it's not super cheap the full size of this so i'm glad that my curiosity is satisfied now this is not for me and Andrea Matiliano also has oily skin and she used to rave about this and then when she got the what's called pretty fresh foundation she prefers the foundation over the tinted moisturizer which I can totally see and understand and um, I have the full size of the foundation Um, so you know I can see why people like this absolutely but it's really not for me so a full size of this you know would I use it up? Probably eventually, but it wouldn't be my favourite. It'd be something I'd, you know, start going for once my Misha that I really, really love was finished. So, and if I couldn't repurchase that super easily, which if I could, I would just repurchase that. So, you know, obviously this is still a plastic waste and all of the rest of it, but it's less waste than a full bottle and particularly a full bottle if I wouldn't in fact finish it. So I think samples are the best and there should be more of them and Colourpop making their own stuff obviously have access to these bottles and should do all of their other foundations and base products as minis too even th their cream blushes actually apparently those uh, separate quickly so you know I would be more willing to buy a smaller one um, or their liquid blushes I'd be more willing to buy a smaller one than a big one that I know I'd never in a million years use before it would expire so those are my random thoughts and rants uh, and I'm a bit tired so please forgive me for the randomness of it. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!